He's got a Wrexham shirt on, finally, thanks to Coach Drew, a North American subscriber who has connections. And he sent us a note, best of luck with YSL and FM content, loving all of it from 3,000 miles away. Keep being you, 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 keep being you. Okay, I'll keep being me. Hello and welcome to a stacked finale of the Youth Squad Legends series with Wrexham. I mean, we've got so much to do. I can't even fathom it. We're right at the start of the 2029 to 2030 season. And by the end of this episode, we need to win the Champions League. And judging by our performances in the simulated games, this season is the do or die season. There's a lot of jeopardy. And for that, I call upon Posh Cutsy for one final time. Time. Hello there, Porsche Cats are here. How are you doing? I'm hearing a little rumor that I'm getting replaced by a giraffe. Well, well, yeah, I, I guess you are. Am I that disposable to you? Uh, well, we could, like, compromise? Could you, by any chance, learn how to translate giraffe in about 48 hours? I could give it a good shot. Okay, well, you've got a place in the next series then. Marvelous! Anyway, on behalf of myself, Ryan, and that other fellow, I want to say a massive congratulations. Congratulations in winning the Premier League last season. It's a miraculous achievement and the welcome to Wrexham viewing figures are absolutely off the charts. So to reward you, we've inflated your transfer budget massively. But that is not all. We've gone above and beyond to give you absolutely everything that you want for the Champions League run. I've left the details in your notepad. Okay, toodles! Left the details in my notepad, he says. Let's see what he's wrote down. After lifting the Premier League trophy in such unexpected circumstances the majority of the team have had their overalls boosted to reflect their actual quality in game we have a total of 10 playstyles to hand out two of which are playstyle pluses further transfer money can be gained with every goal that we score in the pre-season and also further improvements to the players can be made at a cost of 10 million pounds for every one overall improvement oh that's a big list i simply could not do that in posh cuts his voice. The vocal cords are already strained. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the new overalls of these players. Tobias Tanner, 78. Kinsey, 79. Spencer Neal, 83. Phil Dibbles at 80 overall. Mizzy Jan, 86. Sombyong Key, 83 overall. Keone Sola, 82. Danny Bins, 83 overall. Alex Brutus, 78. Giacomo Cesarini, 82. Gwynfer Owen, 78. That's mainly come from an exceptional loan out to Sassuolo. His potential's like crazy at 91. Tom Haru Ioka, 83 overall. Golden Socko, 82 overall. Benz Mack, 90. Alan Richards, 84. Canalis, 80. Furiapu, 80. Justin Bernard, 75. Van Dinteren's up to 80. Sarin Dari, 86. Victor Lestoza, 90. Blagan Stoyanov, 79. Georgi Jinkaradze, 90. Won't be any surprise to any of you that the fans player of the season last season was Victor Lestoza. His potential now stands at 96. We're still going to run the three times multiplier on experience. This team deserves all the power. However, it doesn't help when Gary Kinsey and Son Byung Ki decide to change the whole story. Why are they submitting transfer requests? Especially Gary Kinsey, who played a majority of the matches last season. How dare you? Son Byung Ki, disgraceful. He has brought shame to Jang Sung Chan. You can't go demanding more playing time, getting crazy unhappy, submitting transfer requests, all in the space of like five months. I'll take R-Type Barricat over you any day, pal. In terms of other transfer outs, Hiro Furiapu, see you later. Justin Bernard, it's been a great ride. I'm also looking at potential exits for Georgie Jinkaradze and, heartbreakingly, Sorin Dari 
if the price is right. Now, it pains me to say it, it might hurt a lot of you watching. However, hear me out. I can't think of a worse thing after everything this lad's given us to just let him rot on the bench for the rest of his career. He deserves more than that. He gave us the joys in the Football League and we paid him back by winning in the Premier League. So if we do get a solid offer, then we have to seriously think. My mind's been swayed a little bit. I don't know if it's like clarity at the end of the series, but Zvairo van Dinteren, I believe, is ready. Especially if we can get him a few overall higher, he'll be the one to lead the line. We're talking about one of the finest finishers I've seen since Obi Jackers, but he's just been a little bit behind everybody else. Now he's catching up. I've also done a sneaky trick with contract renewals right at the back end of last season that should free up even more money for us this season. You talk about the transfer budget, it currently stands at 216 million quid. Rob McElhenney and Ryan Reynolds really sending us off in the finest possible way. So here comes the first big transfer. It's Wesley Purport, the great nemesis of Tobias Tanner, being swapped with Gary Kinsey because he doesn't want to be here. 140 million quid. They push that up to 151.6 million, I'll accept. A nice and easy start to the transfer window. I'm sure he'll play the majority of this season's games. There will be a competition for the number one spot, but let's be real here. Tanner is playing in the Champions League final. How much do you want on the wages? I'll give you 300 grand. Let's go, Wesley Perp Hart is back. Now you might find it a bit peculiar that Gary Kinsey has requested a transfer. I couldn't believe it when I saw it, to be honest. He's just decided this on his own accord. I was happy to ignore Perp Hart for the rest of the series. I know I promised an eventual return, but that was before Gary Kinsey emerged. Whatever, he's back and he's returned as a new star player. We'll advance through and see what offers we might receive. First one looks like Justin Bernardi's market valuation is £8 million. Coventry City offering £8 million. I think we can squeeze a little bit more out of that. Let's not push the boat out massively. They have been respectable with their opening offer and they're sticking very strongly to that. Tension's high. I think we just accept it. Mate, this is the maddest message I've ever seen. Alan Richards has approached Jang Sung Chan and said that the club isn't meeting their demands. Uh, we've just won the Premier League and we shouldn't have. Bro, do you need checking out? Visit a doctor. Lots of money for Hero Furiapu. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to accept it. I did say that we'd sell Hero Furiapu for over 60 million. I stand by that. Hang on, I don't stand by it at all. Loot in town coming in with an offer. You know what? I'll just accept it. It's a little bit more than Sunderland. That's fine by me. By the way, he should be playing for someone better than Sunderland or Luton. In my personal opinion, Justin Bernard's off to Coventry City. Good luck, mate. Oh, we've got lots of things happening here. Two offers for Sorin Dari. One offer for Son Byung Ki, and it's high. Let's get this one out the way first. This could be a handshake. A big amount of money. No, no, they don't like it. Bologna are offering £7.2 million and a player, no, Nottingham Forest being a little bit more reasonable. This to me has to be near £100 million. I don't think we're going to get there with the market value at 79 He's worth £90 million. No, there's a huge gap. I didn't really want to sell him to Nottingham Forest anyway. Who's getting sold this time? It's Hero Furiapu. Big salutes in the chat. And he's going to move to Luton for extra money. What a lad. That's more like it. Tottenham Hotspur are in the Champions League. It's time to do Sorin Dari the biggest favour. Wanted 90, not getting any lower than 85. And that is a deal agreed. Heartbreaking devastating but i have took this lad to heights that he never thought he could reach what a player what a player <laughs> let's just give him this moment the football league will never forget the streets will never forget Sorin dari at his pump the character will be missed more than the footballer it's an a price rated Good job. Sometimes when you go and sell a player, you get that kind of regret. I felt a bit of a release there, like freeing a wild animal. And to take his place, the only man who could take his place. We'll start the ball rolling at £60 million for Zvedjan Kukrika. 
they want 83.8. A ludicrous sum of money. To say that we struggle to get over 80 for Sorin Dari. 77 million pounds. Accepted. He literally is the only player. The only player in world football that is probably universally agreed upon by all the fans watching this to be the proper replacement for Sorin Dari. You only go and sell Sorin Dari if you can sign up Zvedjan Kukrika. How he wants a rotation role, I do not know. Maybe because it's Lestoza's overall playing into that. Very agreeable wages. Let's get him signed on the dotted line. Things are moving at pace. 31 million pounds is the current budget. For me, Dion Daniel might be next to eye up. If we get an offer from Jin Karadze at any point, then our focus turns to Ennio Pilato. For once in our life, we're going to choose the weakest friendly tournament with less prize money because if we score more, we earn more. Hero Fury Apu is still here. What? I'm so confused. I'm a bit lost on this one. I can't lie. Never seen anything like that. And I'm worried for the integrity of the save. Thank goodness we're ending it after this episode. Monaco are eyeing up Jin Karadze. Has to be the right price. You can see the talents there, but the finishing is not at the standards of a 90 overall player. Still, you're talking big money. Massive amounts of cash. Maybe 197.3. Can you do that? Nope. I thought Pilato would be near the 200 million pound mark. Instead, they're looking at 137.6 million. Still a joke amount of money. No player should be worth that. We could send Gwynfa Owen on his final loan. See if he can get any kind of bump. That's quick confirmation. Furiapu is still hanging around here. I'm tempted to release him, but I fear that might break the save. That indeed broke the save, yes. Have I just found the youth squad legends equivalent of God? Nope, even God can't stop the in-game editor. It's game one in the Champions Trophy. This is the team. Mo Hunbergan simply don't stand a chance. 4-1! That is good money. Lazio next up, and there'll be a familiar face there on the left wing. Let's see if we can bag a goal. Two, not bad. We've lost the game. Did Rocker score? No. We really are making some good money from the extra interest. We'll be able to sign up Dion Daniel before you can even visualize it. Hey, I seem to have accidentally selected tactical view for this match. As much as I don't mind that feature, I'm on a bit of a tight schedule. So we've simmed the match and we've lost 2-1. It's another £10 million in the back pocket. Really gutted not to play East Bengal there. Got a bit of channel law with that team. The Champions Trophy is finished but our friendly matches have not. The Community Shield is a friendly match. No one will tell me otherwise. I'd like to win it. I'd like to get more silverware. Goals matter more. Seriously, why is Phil Dibble now very unhappy? Calm down. Are we going to offer £210,000 a week to keep Phil Dibble? Why do you want a release clause, brother? Ain't no one paying that for you. Training plans have been out the window through pre-season, so the majority of the players are leggy. This is the best that I can field. Brentford against Wrexham. I'm here for the day out at Wembley. I don't think Wrexham have been here. Have Wrexham ever been to Wembley? Van Dinteren's big chance to prove my inkling right. Kukrika, nice to see you back. And what a lovely pass that could have been. Great pressure from Maka on the far side. And a small ball here to Van Dinteren, who sticks it right at Raya. But that's when you know your luck's in. If that's Sorin Dari, it probably pings around and we never get that chance to stick it in the back of the net. Yeah, this is a really, really promising start. Wrexham all over it and Brentford going down to 10 men. Giuliano Simeone has stuck himself into two bad fouls already in this game. The referee's had enough. Another great press by Maka has won a free kick. Now is Lestoza on the bench? No, he's not. I've given him the entire day off. I'm ready for Zviro Smasher. Couldn't even see the direction of that free kick. Benz Maka, corner kick, out swinging. Van Dinteren got up early. Keone Solom ops up, but it's definitely offside. Can Brentford do any better with a free kick at the other end of the field? It's blocked by Phil Dibble! Worth every single penny of that new contract. Kukrika's got a yellow card from somewhere. Everything's happening in this match. 
including the penalty. See you later, Wesley Purpaw. In comes Tobias Tanner. He will adore this moment if he saves it, but he's been sent the wrong way. So second half, we've got Golden Sokko on the pitch. Jinkaradze has replaced Van Dinteren with Pushkup Krika up top. Now he is a player called Small, which is hilarious because he looks about six foot one. Oh, big save, Turner. Ew, we got a total pass accuracy of 68%. It has felt like a pre-season game, like in match practice. Maka somehow can't finish from there, but Jinkaradze nods in. That'll be full time. We've only scored the two goals. We've won the Community Shield, though. Silverware to start the season off. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, it's Sola picking it up. Way! Nice little moment there for Keone Sola. I feel like my webcam is aimed slightly higher than normal. I'm just deep in the fact that it's the last time I get to wear this shirt. The amazing news is that the next one that we go and wear has just arrived today. It's nice to get off to the best possible start because team morale through this season is probably going to go down the drain. There's no chance we get anywhere close to the top of the table by simulating games. So I'm gonna have to do my best in press conferences just to keep everybody on side. Why is Purport being linked to Paris Saint-Germain? I'm just gonna spend a lot of money on contract renewals to get everybody happy. Give Danny Bins what he's worth. Alan Richards is gonna earn 330,000 pounds a week. That is madness. 600! That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I've just spent 40 million pounds on wages. I needed everybody happy because here come the Premier League games. Here comes the pain. Quick sim, we've lost 2-1. That's not the worst result. Tomoharu Ioka was a goal scorer. Can we do any better against Liverpool? Yes! Georgi Jinkaradze bagged a goal, and we're not absolutely terrible. So hear me out on this. It's transfer deadline day, and I've not received a transfer since moving Furiapu over to Luton Town. I think I've just broken it all together. Now that is total rubbish, because I've just received an offer for Georgi Jinkaradze of £168 million. Can we go and push that up at all? No, we cannot. Very annoying at the moment. Maybe we just go for a straight swap between him and Ennio Pilato, but we would be wasting a lot of money there. Oh, I see a wild Randall Celestine on my screen. Disappointingly, this money's going down. There must be something in the mod that reduces the valuation of the player the longer that they're on the transfer list. I can't really miss out on the opportunity to sign Ennio Pilato. So even though I'm losing significant amounts, it has to be done. That's a steal and yet still an excellent price rating. Make up your mind. Knowing what I know now, I would have bitten the hands off the initial deal. Song Byung Ki's not moving anywhere. £192 million in the current budget. I cannot get both Dion Daniel and Ennio Pilato. I have to choose. Dion Daniel looks to be quite a cheap deal, so I might start off with that. I'm bare bones in terms of swap deals, unless they want some Byung Ki. Him and 30 million pounds? Oh, they've accepted it. Oh, that's very, very nice. Dion Daniel will sign up for 125,000 pounds a week. It's been a long time coming, this transfer. The central midfielder that we scouted all those years back has developed into quite a fine footballer outside the club. 94 finishing on a centre mid. 94 finishing. His stat spread is incredible. Sad to see the back of Song Byung Ki, but that's what happens if you're handing a transfer request. Should have enough to get Ennio Pilato. Need the deal to be 137.6 million. Please, 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 please. 145 million goes to 146. I will accept the tension bar is right at the top. A brilliant player with the only issue being that attacking work rate, but that can be fixed. Oh dear, that is a lot more than what I expected. I wonder if that will do. It's literally all I can give you. You take that or nothing. The client needs some time to think about the offer. Well, it's not a no. The issue being that we don't have time to think. We've got two hours left. The message has to come now. And it did come, but the contract offer was unacceptable. We're in a bit of a pickle. Dion Daniel will have to play in that front three 
despite earlier plans. Tell you what, it's an amazing opportunity for him. An amazing opportunity to go and write yourself into Wrexham folklore. That's the window shut. Current budget's £158 million, so will there be any changes to Wrexham overalls? Might be Van Dinteren. Tobias Tanner get him to 80 overall. Spend about £40 million doing so. I think I'm comfortable with that. You never thought you would see the day. Tobias Tanner at an 80 overall. It's almost enough to make a grown man cry. Now to add the playstyles. And the obvious one is to give Victor Lestoz a dead ball plus. And that would be his first playstyle. Believe it or not, he's been impeccable without even having the most overpowered thing about this game. We've also gone ahead and added Bruiser and Press Proven. Golden Socko's only got one play style. We've gone for Incisive Pass, Ping Pass and Block, meaning that we've spent five of our eight normal play styles, only got one play style plus to allocate. We could still add to Lestoza. We could add to Van Dinteren. I think it's gonna have to be Lestoza, man. He has been such a revelation for this football club. Without him, we would would be nowhere. So Lestoza now has Dead Ball Plus and Bruiser Plus. We've added Power Shots. We can add two more play styles. Keone Solar definitely deserves some attention and I know exactly what he needs. During pre-season he's been working on his quick step. That is going to make him a monster. So last play style, does it go on Zvezian? Does it go on Alex Brutus? It'd be more effective on Kukrika. It would be more warranted on Brutus. Interesting choice. I've gone for first touch. Because his physical game isn't that bad at all. But when he receives the ball under pressure, you can see him slightly struggle. That's where first touch should help him out. Pre-match report on 20th place Aston Villa. I feel if we don't beat these guys, we're going to find it very difficult for the rest of the season. Seriously, how are you supposed to keep everybody happy if you don't play the games? I'm stumped at just how quickly this uh, squad of players is deteriorating into a mess. Hey, we've won. That'll help. Dion Daniel! Go on, lad! News of the Champions League draw. Real Madrid, Inter, and Bodo Glimt. Are you joking me? Anyway, let's focus on the task ahead. It's Wrexham against City in the Premier League. Mmm. But look on the bright side. Benz Mack is now 91 overall. Which reminds me, we've had a little tinker with the coaches. One of these guys, I'm pretty sure we've just signed up. Yes, Dimian Kobe, attacking coach, brings us closer to the ideal levels, I guess. Big international break behind us. Here's ninth placed Wolves. We've lost again. But look who's on the scoreline for Wrexham. Dion Daniel keeps on producing. Oh, the champions! Do -do 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 -do! The champions! Do -do 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 -do! The champions league! The champions! Yeah, go and strike that for copyright. I dare you. Real big game. We need to get off to the best possible start. We have to slap Bodo Glimt. Silly. What are the ratings on the players? It's a four-star team. Should be no problem. I'm going to go into the press conference. I'm going to maximize every single chance I've got to keep the players happy. Our first ever game in the Champions League, and it's a game they are begging us to win. It's Wrexham against Bodo Glimt. Dion Daniel already causing problems. Dion Daniel has the ball here and he is flying down this wing with hopefully openings. Kukrika onside and that's a fine finish to get Wrexham ahead. I talk about it all the time when Ioka is in a spot with like little five yard passes. He is so dangerous. No trouble so far defensively. Solo looking more assured of himself with the quick step. And it's time to show off that pace. Standing tackle, not clean enough. This lad is on a yellow. Let's kind of aggravate him, kick him in the ankles. This is going to be a one-two between Phil Dibble and Dion Daniel. Wrexham playing it around like silk. Alan Richards with a chance to score in the Champions League. And didn't he take it well? Sola is far up the pitch. That pressure has brought about a really horrific pass. Dion Daniel bearing down on goal. And that is the 94th finishing at play. Is that what we've been missing all this time? He's making a sublime impression. Standing tackle by Sola Cesarini. Confident playing back to his keeper, Tsana. 
lovely pass. We are indeed cooking on gas. It's amazing what kind of confidence simple fixes to players gives you. Keone Solar has got that mojo back. It's a party at Acton Park with Wrexham 3-0 up at the break. I find comfort in the fact that this isn't even close to our best 11. Free kick, free kick. Wrexham free kick. Oh, no. Dion Daniels got dead ball plus. He is on the better foot. Lestoza would be in swinging. Whereas this is going towards the post. Oh, I should have played Lestoza. What am I doing? Boring the free kick. Everything about this performance has been faultless. Couldn't be prouder of the lads. Although the second half is a bit more stagnant. So I'll probably need some substitutions. Bringing on Victor Lestoza whilst 3-0 up against a team that are way worse than you should be illegal. Victor Lestoza with play styles. First turn, he immediately gets someone booked and sent off. I don't believe in players having auras, but if they did, Victor Lestoza would live off aura alone. He's gone. He really has gone. No one's going to catch him. Victor Lestoza will have a chance to add to the tally that Wrexham have already built up. You just can't play like that. This lad needs a marker at all times. Danny Bins is going. Secret Danny Bins goal. Move out the way. Stoyanov could float this in. Victor Lestoza wants it. Victor Lestoza got it, but didn't find the fifth goal for Wrexham. Get out, keep up. Make sure you've got that clean sheet to celebrate at the end. Full time. Couldn't have gone any better for Wrexham. 4-0. We surely can do that away from home against the same opposition. So it's just about picking up a couple of wins against Madrid and Inter Milan. Hopefully, first four wins of the entire group and we can simulate the rest. The extra load of games is going to take a right old toll on my players. You really do need a, a solid rotation. We don't have that. So for me, it's really all about sacrificing the Premier League. There's another press conference here that we can use. Well, it's nice to see lots of happy faces. This is Southampton against Wrexham and that is a 2-0 defeat. I fear that those happy faces will soon disappear. Literally the same fixtures coming up for the Carabao Cup. It's quite clear that something's amiss here because Tobias Tanner has now submitted a transfer request. In better news, we've got Dion Daniel to an 86 overall striker. Will Southampton run away with it in the EFL Cup? Yes, they will. But look who's on the scoreline again for Wrexham. He's making up for lost time. No, go away. I don't want to sell Tobias Tanner to think about it, it might just be escaping Wesley Purphart's death threats. This is just the sign of how much we overachieved last season. Simulating the Premier League puts us 17th. Surely we can beat Leeds at home. It's a draw. Lestoza gets our goal. All right, here we are. Look at this fixture. Let's have it large in the press conference. Hype up the players. See what they can do against the greatest European side to ever exist. So the pre-match report is actually not too bad. I'm surprised that Rizul is not in that first 11. However, if you are playing a narrow system, where is he going to fit? He's a winger. That's a really strong side we've got set up as well. This is Real Madrid against Wrexham. And it's only the second game of the group stage. This will give us a good indicator of where we're at. Mac has already got it onto Dion Daniel. Play it across. Kukrika! No, that's Barnes in the way. Danny Bins with a nice easy turn. He'll just use Cesarini. Creek is going back. Wonder where the run of Dion Daniel will end up. Let's try and pull this one back. Could have landed at Lestoza, who gives me massive Galactico vibes. I think I said that in an episode beforehand. He's the kind of player that they would spend a ridiculous amount of money on. Kukrika finding gaps in that Madrid defence. Didn't really want him to pick up the ball again. Would have been happy with a corner kick. But we've still got it in this Real Madrid box. And we're trying to just work it around. Vlaovic is going to get swallowed up by Keone Sola. He'll use Wesley Purphart, who hasn't got the greatest passing range. And he makes an absolute blunder of that. Let's not focus on it too much because the start that we've had has been pretty decent. We are very much equals here. We are not playing underdog anymore. Kukrika trying to be the nuisance it is there for us oh we're talking millimeters out of sync that's a great standing tackle by Keone Sola all right half time one nil to the home side I'm not dropping my head at all there has been some seriously promising signs and this right here is exactly what we needed Victor Lestoza on the ball 
from 20 metres out. Stick that top corner. Go on! Yes! Come on! Victor Lestoza shows why he's worth so much to this football club. Come on! This is the only time that we can win this trophy. The only time. What a performance we are seeing from Wrexham. Well worth at least a point. Keone Sola, way better at closing down. I'm calling a Dion Daniel winner. That would be limbs. Cesarini, where are the options? Where are the options? Oh! He almost nailed that. Maka plays it to the right for Cook Creek. Or Dion Daniel just racing into the box. An easy pass into him, but his first touch lets him down. Substitutes on just over 10 minutes to play. And we've got Phil Dibble on the pitch in the Champions League. Now Canalis, we're making moves. We're making strides. Van Dinteren's offside. Tell you something, Vlavic has had no change from Keone Sola all game. That decision to put quick step on him is going to be massive go on Dion Daniel this is it this is to win the game against Real Madrid and I called it we are massive we are massive Wrexham Football Club is massive proper limb by at the Bernabeu this tactic is a godsend We've only gone and done it. Real Madrid won Wrexham 2. We probably follow that up by beating 19th place Sheffield United by three goals to one. Stoyanov, Lestoza, Dion Daniel, of course. Bro, I swear to God, if the board get involved in this and try and sell Tobias Tanner, I'm going to lose my head. I want to alert you to the fact that Dion Daniel is going up these overall numbers at a pace that I've never seen before. Fair play. We do have the three times multiplier on, but that's some Tasty stuff. Wrexham have just lost 3-1 to Nottingham Forest. Kapai scored twice. Here's Inter Milan in the Champions League. This was a very quick turnaround. Some of the big hitters are missing. Others are tired. Let's just see how we get on. The 3-5-2. One interesting formation to play. Do not see it in the Premier League. And there might be good reason for that. As Lestoza takes the ball. Cut Greek got Stonewall. Referee doesn't want to hear about it. Still livid about that referee call. Because not only is it a great position to strike a free kick, it's basically as good as a penalty from that position, but it's the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity by the last man. Surely it has to be a red card. Oh, delivery! Unfortunately, Alex Brutus is on the end of that Phil Dibble cross. Despite our stamina problems, I think we are on top. Oh! The Stoza going so close. Wingbacks are enjoying this game, especially Alex Brutus. Just marking up a midfielder rather than someone going straight for the goal. That's just a hell of a switch. Go on, Cook Creeker. Oh, what a goal. The diagonal switch is something to write home about. It's not surprising that Victor Lestoza takes it perfectly. We have an uncompromising swagger. One of the patron players has just come onto the field. It was a very tough decision to get to a point of selling Sorin Dari. I'm still not happy with it, but the proof's in the pudding. The attack has been nothing short of lethal. Mizijan's out of position here. Sola's going to have to cover two, and he is knackered, but he's got it. Unbelievable work, mate. Time to change up this defence, methinks. All he needed was a little bit of speed underneath him, which makes me think, was Sorin Dari just the same? Mizij Jan saunters out of defence. This is not just confidence. This is cocky football by Wrexham. And now Captain Alex Brutus with the lovely ball to Maka. Check this one out. Oh! Wow, the overalls might be different, but it's the same old Wrexham winning by the single goal. That's a poor pass. But fortunately, the time is up. Wrexham won, Inter Milan, nil. What's the scoreline going to be away against Brighton here? Losing 3-1, who scored our goal? Don't even ask. Don't even ask. Why ask? Oh, I see Glyn Relish as captain for Manchester United. He will love this game because they are going to batter Wrexham. We're playing a rotated side or as rotated as it comes because Inter Milan is in three or four days time. Quick sim, find out the result. We've lost 3-0. Oh, hang on, hang on. Tobias Tanner is now saying that he's happier, but he's still transfer listed. Yes, we've removed him from the transfer list. <laughs> I was getting so 
more worried, Tobias, man. You don't do that to me. My heart can't take it. Hey, I wonder what Perp Heart's thinking right now. Great. Even more time with this clown. I didn't even know that was a thing. I just thought as soon as they ask for a transfer listing, that's it. No going back from that. Ears into Milan. Utilize the press conferences. Tanner's on the pitch. Rewarded for his loyalty. This is a great side being brought out here. Now for a trademark. Ioka corner kick. Lestoza up. Danny Bings! Phil Dibble! Both blocked. Dare I say that the teams that we face so far in the Champions League have been rather average to this point. Atletico Madrid are the current holders. Oh, now then, Inter Milan are in. Commentators curse. Whatever. They didn't need much inviting there. Barella smashed it beautifully into the bottom corner. I still want to stick my neck out and say that these guys would struggle in the Premier League. I have seen better Ow! performing. Oh, Tano! Time to shut up, stop criticising other teams and get back into this match. Well, it's proof that we won't have our own way this season. Tobias Tanner is up for the corner kick. That would be amazing. Lestoza, please, someone, head it down to Tanner. I've got nobody in the net. I've got nobody in the net. He's probably going to take a long shot. Oh, that might be in. Nah, just a yard or two wide. Full time. We've been so clinical this season. I'm just going to call this one a blip it means a lot to the inter milan fans what happens if you get a scenario like that in the champions league final we've got to have a better response the character of this team was exceptional last season yes my friends tottenham hotspur have sorin dari up front is he gonna score against us shockingly they're in 11th place fair enough it's not as bad as Wrexham's position in the table but that's rather bad and we've gone and drawn this game Ben Smacker with his first goal of the season i think i'm gonna have to rewind the clip because i've just seen a piece of news suggesting that spurs need to add more goal scoring to the squad you've got sorin dari that right there is making me want to bring him back just by sheer spite mind you it's not so saying much because in the Premier League I couldn't get the best out of Sorin Dari. Wrexham against Everton. Man that's embarrassing. I'm just sensing relegation at this point. Tell you something I'm loving these constant press conferences. I'm working magic. So Bodo Glimp standing in the way of group stage qualification. Now it's Spencer Neal's turn to mess me about. Why is he unhappy? Of course he submitted a transfer request. I'm gonna take the Tanner approach and try and just play him for a few games and see if that kind of sways his opinion. This is so stressful though. I don't understand how people can do this to themselves all the time. They're simulating game after game after game. We've got a snowy set in here in Norway. Objective simple, win the game, qualify for the knockouts. Why don't you get spray off the boots like this in rainy conditions? Make it make sense. Great delivery. Dion Daniel to cut creek up. Quality. Boring game this one. The hosts not really wanting to be adventurous because they will get smashed bosh the number seven Dion daniel on the score sheet we should have ignored jinkaradze altogether and just signed this lad up i wonder if you get prize money for qualifying out of the group stage because i think that was the case and it would help us in january oh dear that is a force of a clearance by mizijan consolation there i guess the game's on the line here if they score an unlikely goal it goes to a sixth game wesley purpar out in time though and that will be the final whistle we've qualified i don't think it's going to be as group winners we will simulate the match against real madrid probably lose it horrifically inter milan will beat bodo glimpse you know the standing in the premier league is looking a little bit more shaky we're currently in the relegation zone i don't see it getting any better crystal palace on the quick sim they're in fourth and we've drawn well done cook creeker now how about wrexham against west ham it's another draw here for wrexham they could have won if they held out for another 10 minutes van dintren scored in the 40th hey this will be a fun one 19th place middlesbrough their captain is gary kinsey throw tanner in there for the giggles what's the score gonna be three nil get in there wrexham zviro van dintren and two from cook creeker see we're not completely terrible you could say on the spicy range of terribleness we probably come out as two peppers but not the entire three simulate a game between wrexham and real madrid mate look at us go we're turning it around dion daniel opened it up 
and then Cup Krika sealed the deal. Ah, the league winners and the FA Cup winners of last season reside in 17th and 16th place. That is almost hilarious. Just stop sending me transfer offers for Spencer Neal, especially when they're 90 million pounds worth. That's tempting. Sorry, Dory clearly put in the good word. Spencer Neal approached us directly. Blah, 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 blah. It's the exact same message as we saw for Tobias Tanner. Dion Daniel now up to 88 overall. Can we continue the winning streak? It seems like we can. Did Dion Daniel score? No, Maka and Lestoza with a brace. Spence Maka's worked his way onto the shortlist of UEFA's team of the year. Just about to end off the year with a potential loss to Arsenal. Van Dinteren scored for Wrexham though. Spencer Neal is content, but he still submitted a transfer request. I see how it is. Can we go and beat Newcastle? That is a strong no. Victor Lestoza scored a goal in a 4-1 battering. I hear the chance I'm getting sacked in the morning. I'm telling you, I've got some kind of connection with these players. Spencer Neal, he doesn't want to leave now. Perfect timing as we move into January and the window opening. Chance here, Crystal Palace are on a losing streak. They've fallen all the way down into 12th place. I'm fielding one of my highest overall teams to only go and get a 1-1 result. Stoyanov scored a goal. Southampton are interested in signing Phil Diddle. I mean, he's got a release clause. If you want to spend that much money, go ahead. West Ham in the third round of the FA Cup will expect Law to score against us, but we have won in a game that doesn't matter. But hey, at least it keeps certain players happy. I'm getting drastic with the morale. Putting Tobias Tanner in holding midfield. I just need it. We lose 3-2. Two. two goals for Lestoza. Still bagging them in. Transfer deadline day. Oh my god, that lad's called Tobias Neal. Tanner and Spencer had a love child. The thing is, Ennio Pilato's out the price range. He really did become the one that got away. Which means we got like 100 and odd million pounds just burning a hole in our back pocket. It would be very rude of me not to invite him back. Even if it's for an extortionate amount of money. The deal struck at £110 million plus £300,000 pounds a week in wages. Nice. Hey, but we go and get this special cutscene. Even though it was best for the player to say goodbye to Wrexham, I don't have it in me. I don't have the heart to say goodbye to him if I've got, like, so much money. He's just been completely unused. He's back as though nothing ever happened. Swap him to the number nine. Cook Creek can have the number 11. And I think, my friends, we are set for the end of this series. So long as no one forces a move out the club in the next 18 hours. Paddy Tyne, great name. We are done. Locked in. The final stretch is ahead of us. FA Cup against Forest. Get us out of this competition. It's a 3-1 scoreline. Alanga Kapai. Lestoza score for us. And is that Samuel Solis? No, it is not. He's still playing for Leicester City. Yes, our centre-back partnership consists of Dibble and Neil for Wrexham against Middlesbrough, and somehow we've won it. Sorindari back with a bang, and Stoyanov with two goals sandwiched in that. Dion Daniel is now an 89 overall. What is going on with this kid? Crack on. This is West Ham away. 2-2 two -two scoreline, a point for Wrexham. On the road. Danny Bain scored in the Premier League. Yes. Two. Also got to say that Sorindari coming back, scoring goals now. Everything worked out perfectly in the end. We're going to play a weaker team here against Southampton because the first Champions League knockout game is in a few days' time. Could still get the job done. 2-2 two, two, Corona right at the end, grabbing a point. Van Dinteren and Sorindari scoring goals. Come on, Sorin. <laughs> Oh, great! Furiapu in the sky! Bless this big lump with the gift of quick step. Yes! The group stage win means that we have a weaker opposition for the round of 16. We've been drawn up against Besiktas, who outside of a decent attack don't look like any threat at all. Wesley Purple Heart seems to have submitted a transfer request. But it's too late now, you're stuck with us. <laughs> Steam coming from his ears as he's announced on the subs bench. Let's get ourselves into the quarterfinals. Get off to the best possible start. It's the perfect fixture to just lean into. We've got a lot of editing in front of us. What a find. Well done, Benzmack and Dion Daniel. I can't see us having the same luxury in the quarterfinals. It will start to get a bit tense. The opposition will become way more ferocious. And Doan is there 
effort. Besiktas, Tanner front post. Keepers out for the corner. Big throw out. Finds the furthest man forward for Exum in Dion Daniel. A poor touch. The slide has kept the ball at his feet. Canales been on loan to Besiktas. <laughs> that is one man that would love a goal here. It's a masterclass in midfield. Canales and Sokko orchestrated. It's Kukrika. Two goals in 21 minutes. The tie is almost done for. Daniel, Maka, we might be off again. Bator reaches out a leg somehow. Oh, that's a pick out. Now we see Besiktas on the goal. That's going to chip Tobias Tanner. They're not going down without a fight, and I respect that. Canales is playing like a man possessed. Could lift it up to Sorindari. Get on it. Bang! It's 3-1. Sorindari races to the camera. The wild animal has been entrapped again in the Wrexham web. Dion Daniels winning the ball up high. He is elite and assisting Sorindari. The earth is shaking. The lad's got some new tools in the bag. But fair play to him, he scored five in his last seven games in the Champions League. A simply outrageous goal from Besiktas. Lovely one too. Some absolute fireworks here. And this is not a bad free kick position. I've seen Lestoza score from worse. Oh! <laughs> I'm not scared at all. Let's hope the second half continues that entertainment. Dory waits. Sets up Benzmacher. Could this be a fifth? It's a front post finish. Benzmacher has won in the Champions League. It was only a matter of time. That's right. You know, sometimes the referees get a mouthful from me, but I'm loving the flow of this game. Play Canal, his flag goes up. This kid's going to get free again. A Morrower with some outrageous pace, a thorn in the side. There's certain players that you just can't keep up with, no matter what you do. But you can at least calm it down by bringing on fresher centre-backs. Danny Bin's up to 87 overall. What are we saying? Can all this place to Danny Bin's, but the first touch is poor. Is that a free kick? Go on, Lestoza. You haven't just dropped two players from the wall. What are you expecting? This is getting banged in. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. His name is Victor. Victor Lestoza. The greatest player from Brasilia. Hey, his name is Victor. Victor Lestoza. Football's a lesson with him in possession. He's got the ball again and fed it into Cook Creeker. Can we find a seventh victor, Lestoza? Slalom, Daniel, that's a seventh! And scored by the number seven! This is some game of football! Will there be another one? Will there be time? Referee has called it! And Lestoza was in! That was epic! I think it's safe to say that we've got ourselves in the quarterfinals. A little focus on the Premier League. I'm essentially now just throwing any player into any position so long as they're fit. It will be a loss. A 3-0 loss at that. Wrexham have just lost 2-0 to Arsenal. And we're back in the relegation zone, baby. We might be able to get Brentford. A draw's better than a loss. Two goals for Zviro van Dinteren. Even with three fullbacks and an Alan Richards in our defence, I don't think Besiktas is going to catch us up. That's a 2-2 draw and a 9-5 aggregate. Goals by Lestoza and Sorindari. Once big old scary Liverpool are in 14th place. A shadow of their former self. 2-2 the full-time result. A double from Zvezdjan Kukrika. I thought that they might have been a shock at the top of the Premier League table. No, it's Manchester City, like it always is. The sooner they get charged with 115, the better. We've gone and lost 2-0 to Chelsea. No! No, you've got to be joking me! Zviro's gone out with an ACL. That is him done. It's a good job that we brought back Sorindari. All that effort, all that time and attention that we put into Zviro and Interim through the series has just gone obliterated right before our eyes. And that is one enormous gut punch and it's flattened the whole atmosphere. I've got to pick myself back up. Got some very important games ahead. What a surprising result here at St. James's Park. 
Keone Solo scored an opener with Dion Daniel, making the game a foregone conclusion. Wrexham 2, Newcastle 0. Should win the game at home against Sheffield United. I said should for a reason. Lestoza scored our only goal. We're going down. We're going down. We're going down. Nurse is playing Tobias Tanner as a holding midfielder again. He's only gone and won it. I'm telling you, he's the goal. Even though he clearly isn't, Enzo Bordi is like on a different planet. But the vibes are immaculate with TT. Sorindari, Bent Smacker, Cook Creeker. Oh, that's perfect. What a draw. You know what playing Juventus means. We don't get to own any Opalato, but at least we get to play against him. We're pushing the team's morale up to very happy. A combination of rotation and training plans means that everybody is raring to go. It's Juventus against Wrexham. My apologies, I didn't show you the ratings or the formation for Juventus. They're a fantastic side, but with one significant weak point. Why are they not playing any Opalato there? Otherwise, you're talking about one of the greatest teams in world football at this moment in time. That's really stumped me. We were indeed correct to think that tougher games were ahead, and the likes of Real Madrid and Inter Milan were red herrings in the group stage as such. Yes, this is what we need to do. Play off the right-hand side. Decent delivery. It would have been a very difficult goal to score. It's a bit weird to play off the right as much, but it is working. There's been so much emphasis on the left-hand side for Exum. Ben Smacker and now Lestoza occupying it. Go on, lads! The old lady is falling. Zvezdjanko Krika gets the opening goal of this two-legged tie. My mistake not reading out the pre-match reports on Juventus actually turns out to be a massive advantage. Go on, find Lestoza. Little bit too slow, had to change it. Dion Daniel, we are on fire! I've ran out of plaudits for both Wrexham and Dion Daniel at this point. This is just a crushing of the entire game. I can feel it begging for mercy. Bent Smacker reverse ball. It is onside. Svetjan, what are we talking about? What are we witnessing? I'm not even joking. This last 15 minutes have been some of the best football that I have ever, ever, ever seen. I really, really don't know what to say. What a lovely touch that is by Cesarini. They are better than us on paper. And we're just taking them to the cleaners. Do we finally have a Juventus chance? Back post, Tanner's there. Everybody in this stadium's fuming. Even the goalkeeper's turned up. Still no sign of any Opalato. Why do they insist on playing Lombardi? Also, if they're not going to play him in the big games, why don't you just sell him to me? Things have been quite contrasting in the second half. Juventus on top. But Tanner is desperate. Desperate for his clean sheet. Last time we faced one of these long free kicks that ended up in the back of the net. But this time, sorted out by Sarin Dari, Tomoharioka, making the Juventus player dizzy off goes Stoyanov. Passing perfection, Lestoza doesn't want to go down, all the way across and back in. That could be a penalty. So it's this to top off the perfect night in the Champions League. Lestoza, yes! 4-0 Wrexham! They've been all over us in this second half. Just get one more touch. Clear this thing out, referee. He'll call full time. It is a monumental night. A seismic shift in European football. Wrexham have come over to Italy and annihilated the champions. There's one domestic game in between the two legs. We've just gone and lost to Brighton by four goals to two Cut Creek and Sorindari with Az. Let's just ignore what's happening in the Premier League fully because this should be the legacy of Wrexham. Palato plays. Ratings-wise, they could be the best team that we've ever faced. And we can just go and simulate the game because the job is done. Goals from D. 
Leon Daniel and Sorin Dari makes the aggregate scoreline 6-2. Barcelona have got knocked out. The holders, Atletico Madrid, are still in. Here's Nottingham Forest against Wrexham. Full-time score, 2-2. Two -two. Goals from Benzema and Victor Lestoza. Then we move on to Tottenham. Gotta have Sorin Dari in that first 11. 1-1 and he scored the equaliser right at the end. You know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. To be the best, you've got to beat the best. How good are Atletico Madrid? 88, 88, 89. Theoretically, Juventus are better, but I do like this formation more. It's a lot tougher for me to break down. If we go and slap these down in the same fashion, I am going to lose it. The fixtures beforehand have ravaged the team. With what we've still got, with the legs available to us, it's going to be Richards and Cesarini up there with Stoyanov to create pressing hell. Wrexham against Atletico Madrid. What's all the hype about then? Hang on, are these another team that's playing wing play football without any wingers? I think they are. Lovely find, Stoyanov! Finish that! Wrexham are ahead! Eight minutes on the clock! And it all came from the first successful press of the night. It's impeccable. Jang Sung Chan ball. Alan Richards wins it with his strength, his aggression. Ioka turns the corner. Canales finds Stoyanov and he's having a day! This is dreamland football being played out by the mighty Red Dragons. What an amazing decision it was to press high and put them five defenders under immense scrutiny. It's a real struggle for them to release that midfield. They've done it on this occasion. Sol has got caught underneath the ball and Nick Jackson bangs in. Incredible stints on the field. Spencer Neal, Mizijan, Alan Richards, Cesarini. You'll get a standing ovation. Now it's time for Victor Lestoza to pick this performance up and take it to the house. That's a dive. Great call, referee. Get your backsides on that. Well done, Keone Sola. Down the line, I did not see Kovacic. Well, we've won the game. We'll have to play the second leg. That was very well contested. Atletico Madrid got themselves back into that. I have no idea what I'm doing anymore with the lineups in the Premier League. United dominate 3-1. Stoyanov scored. Real purple patch for him. I hope we've got enough in the tank to hold this down. Yeah, it looks like good recovery. Thank you, training plans. Let's get after them. Atletico Madrid against Wrexham in the second leg of the semi-final. It does have a different feeling to what we've been used to in the Champions League so far. Feeling more defensively aware. Got to be on my A game for this because we're talking about inches. You want to know the funny thing? Real Madrid won the Spanish League last season. What am I doing? What am I doing? Keep it out, Tobias! That's enough! It's one of them games where I might need a Lestoza free kick. Oh, I am pooing myself a little bit. Sola has to come across and get it right. The butt cheeks are clenched. Dion Daniel into the box. He's going to drop to Tomoharu. Oh, black tips over. Tomoharu's corner kick into Lestoza anywhere else. And that's a goal. Dion Daniel spins back. Dari might be in. Chest control, chip it. Oh, what a finish. Sorin Dari, exiled from the team. Comes up with a massive goal. Yep, that gets the voo voo, Zayla. <laughs> Man, it's in bad nick. It's had a rougher 12 years than I have on YouTube. Either their focus has switched off, or the tactics have changed. Victor Lestoza, they need to go back to them old tactics, because now they're in trouble. Oh, now the front four are purring. Aggregates at 4-1. Yes, Danny Bins! You can't live with that speed! This big clash has been decided on the culmination of about 30 minutes of play. These guys are dangerous. Yes, Dano. I think we're going to face up against Bayern Munich in the final. Bring on Kimi Kaminki. Ball goes up. It's Benzmacher on side! <laughs> Never was able to nail down that finishing. We have made more passes, more passes than the AI. This is news. And that's got me all excited. We've properly beaten the AI. Mate, taking these glorious moments. The final whistle goes. 
Wrexham are in the Champions League final. They are one game away from never having to buy a drink ever again in the town of Wrexham. To be honest, that's probably already happened since they won the Premier League. And it seems like we're going to face Leverkusen because they beat Bayern Munich 3-0 away. They must be some team. German finalists. I like the sound of that. I think Manchester City could relegate us here. They've just beat us by one goal to nil. Have a little standings check. Goal difference means that we're essentially relegated. <laughs> what kind of season has this been? I mean, you never know. We could win like 17 nil here. Hey, it's a win. We end the Premier League season and our Premier League time with a 2 0 victory. Dion Daniel, Victor Lestosa. I'm sure they'll be wanting moves in the summer. Yeah, but that's a mess for another manager to clean up. Oh, it's time. It's time to say goodbye to Wrexham. And I will pre warn you, there might be a few tears at the end of this. I don't know how I'm going to feel, how I'm going to react. A lot of people in their live shoes the change of a calendar year to signify the closure of something, fresh starts and all that. For me, because of how much my life revolves around this game, I get the same feeling with game cycles and that's gonna shut off a lot of demons. If you've been watching this series, there are a lot of demons in here. Uh, I've gotta win it first, man. I've already kinda lost it. <laughs> wow. I would say that I've loved every single moment, but my emotions are not fooling anyone. I can't wait for change and a new chapter. And that's absolutely nothing to do with Wrexham or this team. They've been the best. Let's go and crown them. I'm seeing Latumba. I really wanted Latumba. It looks like the lad from Apoel Nicosia. It has to be. There's only one Latumba in the world. He was so on my radar. The rest of the team's excellent. You're talking 89 attack, 90 midfield, 89 defense. Last five matches in the Champions League, 1-1-1, one, 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 drawn one. Now, as much as I like this away shirt, we can change the kit to the home and there won't be any clashes. Got to do it in the Wrexham red. How can you arrive at a Champions League final and be very unhappy? How? It's happening from utter oblivion. We are playing Sorin Dari in the Champions League final. In other storylines, Phil Dibble starts. He gets about five minutes, then says Arini will go onto the field. I don't know what team ends this. Richards needs to come on. Keone so needs to come on. I do respect Cook Creeker, but it would be sad for Alex Brutus to miss out, even if he just watches this game from the subs bench. One last final push by Leverkusen against Wrexham. Now, this would be a perfect moment to have those old school match introductions that they decided to get rid of for no reason. Oh, we're playing at Schalke's ground. German team on German soil. Phil Dibble standing tackle. He gets something done in his five minutes and plays a ball out wide to Sorin Dari. He'll be off the field as soon as this thing goes out. Put out by the man himself. Now we've got 10 serious footballers on the field and one TT. Golf claps. We just witnessed Phil Dibble in a Champions League final. As if Latumba's making his debut. Why would you go and throw him into a game of this <laughs> magnitude? Yes, Mizzy Jan. Keep him tightly marked. Amazing. These guys are structured well. It's tight. It's tense. It's the perfect final. The perfect send-off. Rosario. Tano. No. Once an idiot, always an idiot. I think you owe us a penalty save after that one, Chief. Still plenty of time for some predictions in the comments section. Wrexham have to turn this one around. Who's going to be the winning goal scorer? With the lack of chances, corner kicks might be the one we used to be. So good at them, Victor Lestosa. Who else? He just hung in there and made sure he got good connection with the ball. He's eyeing up a ballon d'or. It would be a travesty if you gave it to anyone else. Great time. Puts win back in the sails. Let's go, Wrexham. Him. There needs to be a change here. Sorry, Dari. I'd love the story of him scoring a goal in the Champions League final, but he is in the deep end. I don't want to talk about carrying him. He's made this appearance. Stoyanov would be better suited. Play like we did on the charge to the Premier League. Stoyanov occupying the centre-backs. Gives that time to Ben Smacker. Presumably the passes left and right. Dion Daniel, Victor Lestosa. That's where we're going to win 
the Champions League. Alan Richards to left back. We're into the final 45. It's quick, slick football. Leverkusen not allowing me to set my defence. That's way more like it, Tobias. We have left the best team to last. There's no doubt about that. Unplanned substitution. Here comes Canalis. Thought he was going to be a bench player. Probably the right time to bring on Keone Sola. It's two defensively sound teams in a bit of a chess match. Dion Daniel. Get the cross right. It's there for him. Victor Lestoza. He was written in the stars. It's 2-1 Wrexham. And they've got very little time to respond. Oh, Dion Daniel. What a signing. Victor Lestoza. I owe everything to you. Let's have it, man. I was going to change my approach to put Lestoza in the centre yeah. of Zion. No! Are you f***ing kidding me? Tanner's playing for penalties. The absolute weapon! I've never seen this level of sabotage. My finger's twitching. I could go to Wesley Purpleheart, but what if we go to a penalty shootout? Rosario has just simply walked around him. Ball rolls. Latumba, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Canalis with a double interception. It's very effective at this moment in time. That's more like it! Buckle up for more. This one's heading to extra time. My voice is in bits. I am begging for this one to be over. Some stuff quality like that Dion Daniel pass. Poor touch by Maka and poor touch by Stoyanov but it's in the back of the net. The great Stoyanov name lives on. It was always meant to be Stoy Stoy. What are you talking about? Of course we got some premium limbi in the final. A shout out to Benz Maka. One day a long long time ago he would have tried to take that all the way to the goal himself. But in this new role, he's unlocked the unselfishness. Tanner's raging. No penalty shoots out for you. The sting has slightly gone out of Leverkusen as the star players begin to fatigue. Important corner kick headed away by Stoyanov. That name is so legendary. Lestoza's running out of time to get a hat trick. Press is good. Just runs down more precious seconds. 117 minutes on the clock and it was there was a gap there. How did he not pass that ball to one of his teammates in a better spot? That's the game surely. How very apt. Benz Macker one day would have done the exact same thing. We are seconds away from winning the Champions League, and I need to go and get myself a beverage. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles, with your host, Yuko Ike. I once tried to catch some fog on a cold wintry morning, but I missed. He comes back with a zesty drink. You talk about character development, Benz Macker became a man. Full time by a Leverkusen 2. Wrexham 3. Yep. Cheers. Usually there's elation, but what I've got right now is a massive release. We are just about to close the chapter of the last year. Danny Bins is going to lift the Champions League trophy. I'm going to fade out the webcam and have a little chat with you at the end of these celebrations.
Wow, guys. What a series. I want to say a few things. Firstly, mental health is important. Being upset is one thing, but then trying to put on a face and entertain you guys whilst all the havoc was going on in my life was just a lot, a lot to deal with. And if you're in that same boat, if you are just deeply unhappy, please, please talk to someone, even if it's someone you don't know on the other end of a phone. As much as it was tough making videos whilst Becca was in intensive care, your interactions with the series, your love for the series, just kept me going. I'll let you into a bit of a secret now, and it might pull on a few heartstrings. Just off camera, I've kept this note from Coach Drew on my on my desk all this time and it's just the final sentence is keep being you yeah man i tr i tried i really did try and i've given absolutely everything into this series Oh my god. Every single time I walked into my room, I would see that note. And it just gave me a little bit more strength. I know I say it all the time, but your comments mean so much to me. It's just that feeling of not going through things alone. My upload schedule was all over the place in FC24. Mentally, I was kind of like rebuilding myself. I am so ready to absolutely smash this now. Smash everything about fc25 now that is closure farewell Wrexham. i won't miss you but i will look upon this save very fondly because at some points it was the only thing keeping me sane this has been cutsy thank you ever so much for watching this episode and this series of youth squad legends big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me financially on patreon you can too with the link down in the description box. Best time to pledge there is now, before the first episode of Chestfield. Get your scouting nations in. And with that, I've got nothing more to say. Relief will turn very quickly into happiness. Take care, guys. See you later. Wait a minute. I completely forgot to recall Gwyn for Owen.